Right, hi, I'm in my studio and I've just installed three absolutely brand new Behringer amplifiers. They came from Studio Spares in London very quickly, nice company to deal with, very quick delivery. The amplifiers claim certain specifications with regards to distortion. They're the A500 amplifiers from Behringer. So this is the environment they're going to be used in. Right, that's our VTR rack, edit, some other stuff. We use Tannoy speakers throughout, configured 5 and 6.1, all the other usual gear that you'd find in a post-production studio. And I'll come back to the speakers and back to the test gear. Okay, the test gear is a Radford low distortion oscillator, standard scope, and a Meguro distortion factor analyzer. Right. At the moment, the Radford's outputting one kilohertz through a direct link into the distortion factor analyzer and as you can see on the right hand meter on the 0.1 distortion for full scale deflection there's hardly any reading at all it's just below the 0.2 but that's 0.2 of 0.1 so a very small factor of distortion what I've discovered on the Behringer amplifiers is that if you rotate the volume control on the Behringer amplifier back to its three-quarter position, as you do so, there is significant audio distortion, and I'll show you this happening. This makes the input level control on the amplifier next to useless. So for the purposes of the test, I'll set the thing running. Okay, the Amplify volume control is flat out and when I switch the audio oscillator on you'll see this coming up to the first couple of bars so it's not a lot of output just a handful of watts okay I've got the audio switched off because obviously I can't talk over it First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the audio on and show you that there is hardly any distortion again at this low operating level. You'll also look at the waveform on the oscilloscope. So I'm going to switch it on and my camera assistant will go. Close up as possible. Right, the next part of the test is I'm going to slowly turn down the amplifier's gain control whilst running the distortion measuring equipment. All the time the amplifier is being driven under the same conditions into the standard Tannoy DMT speaker. Right, so what I'll do now is I'll put the audio equipment on and then turn the audio down. Watch this meter here as I do it as I go through the three-quarter range. On that meter. Did you get both meters in? Yeah. Right, I'll do that again. What you're basically seeing is the amplifier level going down on the left hand meter and the distortion going through the roof on the right hand meter. Later on I'll show you a close-up of the oscilloscope waveform where you can definitely see the third harmonic distortion. I'll do this again. My assistant will look at the two meters in tandem and then we'll have a look at the scope in close-up later. Power on.
as you can see, I've switched the distortion range down to the 1% range. So it really is coming up to the 0.4, 0.3% distortion, which is well out of range for the amplifier specification, I believe. Anyway, it's not acceptable to me. How I noticed this um, test was that we put tone from the desk at one kilohertz from our Yamaha desk. And as I increased and decreased the level on the amplifier when switching it on from new, I noticed that there was a severe distortion. So what I'll do, I'll get my assistant to do a close-up of the oscilloscope and I'll do the same thing on the scope. And I'll point out the kink in the waveform. Now, you can come down here and see that I've turned the amplifier volume control to here. And then all I'll do is, if my assistant goes wide, I'll just turn up the volume control. And down again. I'll turn the volume control up and down and you can see the distortion waggling about. Okay, the conclusion is that this amplifier, because this occurs at the same on all the channels of all the, all the three amplifiers we've just bought, this amplifier is badly designed in that the input level control, which, although it's click-stop, that's meaningless, it's just some sort of little electromechanical, uh, sorry, mechanical clicker, it's not actually a precision stepper at all. Basically, the amplifier has got a gain stage in it, a variable gain stage, which introduces significant and severe distortion. You can't use this amplifier by using these volume controls. If you're using it in the studio setting, I'm confident that you can use it flat out and then match your gain from the desk and the gain in the subsequent system to work properly. Anyway, I hope that's clear. What I'll do now is I'll ask my assistant to cut the camera. I'll show you some other nonsense Behringer equipment.